How was that acting with a cat? I'm severely allergic, so not oh, ideal for no. me. <laughs> yeah, oh, but he's super cute. They were great. They did an awesome job. Are such a badass in this movie. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm so proud to say, having the Sacramento connection, mm -hmm. that we can now claim Ryan Coogler with Black Panther, yep. Greta Gerwig with Lady Bird. That's true. And now you. It's true. We got a lot of Sacramento vibes. I know. Yeah. It's a good thing. And so what are some <laughs> memories that you may have from Sacramento? From Sacramento? Well, I moved from Sacramento when I was seven. Oh, okay. And it's changed quite a bit since I lived there, because I remember it being like much more underdeveloped than it is now, and now it's like popping in Sacramento. It is, <laughs> and you never would have thought that. It's good, it's good for us though, no, right? Yeah, it's cool, yeah. And so in this film, this is monumental, this is historic, you're the first female leading the helm of a Marvel movie. Mm -hmm. This is incredible. So Captain Marvel not only teaches us as women really important things, but it teaches the whole world things, men and women. So what did Captain Marvel teach you? Mm, I think just getting the chance to be her for so many hours every day, it just, that sense of inner strength and ownership of yourself just sticks with you. I don't know, I think it does something to your brain where you like start to believe it because you're just living it. Um, so even when the movie was over, there's a certain like rootedness I feel in myself now. I love that. And you're the perfect fit for it. It was like the part was tailor-made for you, really. Oh, thank you. So when it came your way, what was your initial reaction? Uh, yes, please. I, no, it wasn't. No. I was like, give me a sec to think about this. If if I could do movies like this and there was no, like, I, I knew that I would still get to keep my privacy and I could walk around the streets and everything would be okay, then I would have just been like, yeah, totally, I'm in. But because there's these other requirements that go along with it, and those are not environments where I thrive, I wanted to make sure that I could still maintain a life that was important and valuable to me. And that's perfect. You always have to take that into consideration. Of course. So you and Fur Fur Furry, I'm thinking <laughs> of the cat now, you and Fury discover a lot about each other throughout the movie. So what was one thing you discovered about Sam that you might have not known? I know you guys have done three movies together, but was there something specifically oh, in man. this film that kind of... I did learn recently that um, he studied marine biology and architecture, oh. which was so interesting because I was like, that's exactly what I would have studied if I went to college. So we talk, we were able to talk about that a lot. So that was a Very new nice. factoid unlocked. And I'm a huge fan of the 90s. And I follow you on Instagram, and I've seen some of your epic throwbacks, some mm -hmm. of your red carpets, which are amazing, by the <laughs> way. So what's one thing that you would bring back if you could from the 90s or one thing you miss? I, I miss Blockbuster. Right. Wasn't it fun to go I in and it. actually like pick out a movie, not just use your remote? It yeah. was like an event. It was like going to see it. And it was kind of stressful. Like you didn't know if you could get what you wanted. <laughs> I do miss it. Right. And in the movie, this cat, everyone's talking about Goose. This cat's amazing. Was that just one cat? Like I want to know the no, information. No, four cats. Four cats. Yeah. Four and cats. how was that acting with a cat? I'm severely allergic, so not oh, ideal no. for me. <laughs> yeah, oh, but he's super cute. They were great. They did an awesome job. So if there's one thing you're going to take with you, one experience, one scene you remember, one feeling, one vibe, anything from this incredible experience, what would it be? That I'm stronger than I realized. I love that. That's so perfect. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Thanks. And thank you for making this movie because it was incredible. I'm glad. And I love it. I haven't Great. been this excited for a movie in a long time. That's so thank awesome. You so much. Going to the bathroom is a, is a whole other process. I can yeah. imagine. Brie and I had to uh, coordinate our bathroom breaks. It's like, <laughs> it takes half an hour to kind of, and two people wow. to get you in, in and out of the suit. It takes half an hour? Yeah. Wow. So that has yeah. to be written in the schedule it, for the day, apparently. It does. It really does. <laughs> This movie is a historical movie. You get cast in it. What is the first thing you do, the first person you tell? Because I know Marvel mm. is so secretive and you have to sign your soul away pretty much. Yeah, you do. Um, where was I? I was on holiday in India. Oh, so I kind of, yeah, I went down, went down to the beach and told my friends that I was with. And it was very surreal, I kind of, yeah, it's still very surreal. <laughs> I could imagine. And there is a lot of makeup and a lot of things, a lot of training, a lot of everything that that entails to be this amazing character. So can you talk to us about that? Yeah, well, as you've probably seen, Minerva is, is blue. Yes. Um, so <laughs> that's, uh, it was quite 
a long process to kind of you know get to you know get to that uh, appearance so it was it was about four hours to begin with um we cut it down to two and a half by the end of the shoot um which is you know still quite a long time but um we had we had an amazing hair and makeup team they're so good at what they do um and it's so kind of detailed their work and um, yeah, it's the kind of the airbrushing and the hair gets braided and metal gets woven through my hair and oh, metal, how cool! Um, yeah, it's so cool. And then there's the kind of tattoos and the pros bit of prosthetics and and then getting into the suit is a whole thing. It's like you know, it's not a kind of onesie zip it up. It's a multi, lots of different pieces that have to go on in the right order. And yeah, going to the bathroom is a is a whole other process. I can yeah. imagine. Brie and I had to. Uh, coordinate our bathroom breaks. It's like, it takes <laughs> half an hour to kind of, and two people wow. to get you in, a, in and it out of the suit. It takes half an hour? Yeah. Wow, so that has yeah. to be written in the schedule it, for the day, apparently. It does, <laughs> it really does. And you're amazing as a sniper, so I oh. heard that you also did the sniper training and all of that as well. I did, yeah. Um, yeah, I did a, yeah, I, I went to sniper school, learned how to use various different weapons and how to kind of crawl whilst holding one and do, you know, all the different positions and hopefully to look like I know what I'm doing. You do, um, I oh, promise thank, you. Thank you, you. thank you. <laughs> um, and yeah, and also did, you know, strength training and um, kickboxing as well to kind of, yeah. That's awesome, because then you get your cardio, you get your summer body kind of, ready, you get you've got, everything got all ready covered. to go, right? Yeah, learn a new skill as well. <laughs> and this movie's set in the 90s. I loved the 90s so much. What's one thing that you couldn't live without in the 90s and one thing you'd want to bring oh. back to the present day? Mm live without um i well i really miss blockbuster video like me too yeah me too. sam that, said no he said he prefers really? streaming oh no 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 blockbuster video definitely now i love the whole routine of going there and you know picking your film and, and if it's you, an event and you don't know whether event. it's gonna be available or exactly. not exactly if you get there late and all the new releases have gone you've got to pick something completely random but it could be a you know really great surprise um and that was your thing you know you could watch it many times over the weekend and take it back it was yeah i love that Fun. whole routine and now i, I just you know you just browse endlessly on i know and, and if you could bring your character to any other decade i mean mm. any decade ever which one would you choose which era oh and really? she could be a different color too if you wanted her to be a different color yeah <laughs> well let's um, make up that way <laughs> I think Minerva would be, it would be interesting to see her in like the 30s, Ooh. you know. Maybe a little flapper action. Maybe, well, cool. yeah, yeah, flapper or kind of, you know, I think she'd be quite good, you know, getting involved in kind of battle and all of that stuff. I think she'd be, she'd be useful at that. Kind of She's thing. a badass and she you is. are as well. So yeah. thank you for being a part of this movie because I've you. been waiting for it for a long time. So thank you. It's yes. a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. So last time I was here and speaking to you for Hitman's Bodyguard, <laughs> I asked you how to get my gun-shy boyfriend of seven years to propose. I see you got a ring on. I know, so I wanted to say thank you. Yeah, That's that because stone. of you. You said what you have to do is at the 10th year, you mm -hmm. said just go ahead and get invitations printed and tell him just to show up Be and here. he better yeah, be, be there or be square. Yeah, yeah, be there or be square. So I wanted to say thank you for that. All right, so when's when? Haven't planned it yet. But, but you did give me invitations, though. Not yet. Oh, but you oh, did tell you, him it was in the works. It's in the works. Okay, I got good. the ring, so that's step okay, one. So we're step. good on that. So right. thank you. I'm going to say steps. thank you for that. <laughs> then I'll ask you advice on the wedding next interview. <laughs> we'll know. Okay. So how much fun was it to reprise your role as Fury? And now we're in the 90s, and you're in a movie making history with Brie Larson at the helm. Well, how, it, how much it fun was that? was different and refreshing. Um, I didn't have to be, you know, the hard-bitten, kind of world-weary, Nick Fury with a chip on his shoulders, kind of a, you know, guy who has a desk job who all of a sudden has an interesting assignment, you know, go to see what this is and it turns into something really kind of wacky and out there and like, wait a minute. And, you know, Nick Fury meets his first alien. You know, so it's like, okay, there are people from other places and they're stronger, faster, and we need to do something about that. And also you, so you discover a lot of things about Captain Marvel throughout mm -hmm. the film, and she discovers a lot of things about you. Right. So what's one thing you discovered about Brie Larson that you didn't already know before filming this movie? That I didn't already know? Uh, that she could sing. Oh. I didn't realize she had a pop singing career before she started acting until we got into this. So did you guys have a sing-off? No, she sang all the time. 
Oh. It's just one of those things she does to relax. Oh, I like that. Yeah. And also, she finds out about you. She asks you a super random question about how, I don't want to plot spoil, but basically well, you There's one said, thing about me that nobody else knows? No, well, kind of, about how you can't eat the toast. You cannot oh, eat that. the toast yeah. if it's cut there's diagonally. That. Yeah. Is that true? No. Okay, so what's one fact? That's fine. I'm going to tell you anything about Come me that on. nobody else knows. Come no. On. Oh. no, those are all personal things. I'm, a, oh, I'm an right. only child. I have a lot of secrets. Oh, okay. I'm an only child, too. Yeah. High five to the only children. I like that. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I love the 90s. I love everything about the 90s in this movie. You I miss do. Blockbuster? I do miss Blockbuster. Get I would totally go. Come I even on, had streaming's way better than Blockbuster. It is a lot easier. You can actually get movies in your sweats and stuff and, like that. And you don't have to worry about them being out of the movie you want to stream. That is true. So yeah. what's the one thing you miss from the 90s, if anything? Uh, my youth. My, would you say my youth? <laughs> my youth. <laughs> yeah. You look pretty good now, and you Thank look you. good in the movie, so keep what you're doing. <laughs> okay. Keep it up. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So you find out you get cast in a Marvel movie. Mm -hmm. This is insane. What's the first thing you do and the first person you tell? Well, I was with two of my friends from home when I found out. So those are the two people that I told. Actually, they knew before me, I got the call and they were like, it's the call. And I was like, no, it's not. It's just a casual call. Um, and the first thing I did actually was go to CVS and buy um, face wipes. Buy face wipes? Yeah, literally. <laughs> we're walking down the street and they're like, your life's going to change. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. And I was like, isn't it? Oh, CV I need face wipes. And Which I also need trash buy? bags. I, uh, I bought... I don't remember what the brand was, but I, and it was two for one. Oh. I was like, I'm, I'm always searching for a bargain. So. Best day ever. Best get day ever. Get cast in a Marvel movie and get your face wipes I two mean, for one. Exactly. Right? And so, that's <laughs> literally two for one. I was doing it in there. <laughs> I love that story. And we need more kick ass women. So you and Brie Larson play the ultimate kick ass women in this film. So, what does being in this film represent and mean to you? It represents just women in all their glory. It represents the women that I see when I open my front door in the morning. And it represents women feeling like they are enough to just be every facet of themselves and not have to shrink themselves to fit in anyone's box. And I think you see great examples of that in this movie in that they don't ever try and blend in. They are just them apologetically and they're enough. I love that too, how they're gritty, they're just so unassuming, they they are who they are and that's that's what we need. We need more of that, more stories of everyday women, which this movie provides. It's beautiful. And explain a little bit about your character. I know she is the heart and soul and she's also the emotional touchstone for Brie Larson's character, Captain Marvel. Yeah, um, she has a. They have a really deep connection, actually. Um, it's nice to see two women just have each other's back. It's nice to see them just take care of each other and be kind to each other. And in that, they're able to be themselves completely. So when you see them like connecting and going through this emotional journey, it's real, like it's fully real. And when you see myself, Lashana, and Brie presenting those two women's for you as the audience. It's us actually going through it because we really wanted the same things for these for these women on screen. We wanted to just see them just living in their truth continuously. And I think I think a lot of women who have close friends will would be able to go, that's my friend, that's, mm -hmm. it. that's what we have, great. That resonated with me as well, because you can't fake chemistry and you can't fake emotion. So that was my favorite part. Those those two scenes with you, or a few scenes with you guys, there were two specific that definitely had me tearing up. Oh. So thank you for that. Now I have to go get makeup wipes. But <laughs> <laughs> Get a two for one. Please. I will, I'll try for that deal. <laughs> and this movie is set in the 90s, which is fantastic. I love that. Yeah. What's one item that you would like to bring back from the 90s? Walkmans. Walkmans. I didn't even think of that one. Literally. I know it's all easy with having everything on your phone and stuff, but like I like I liked working for my music. Yeah. I liked having to like spend time rewinding. I like Rewind. The, the rewind right? Rewinding not on a flat screen, the actual button. Mm -hmm. I liked having to like carry tapes around. Um I love that. and be like, mm, what am I gonna have now? I liked getting my pencil and trying to rewind the tape. Yeah, oh yeah, anything that you could find to rewind. Yeah, it. yeah, I yeah, exactly. That. Like a nail file you're there trying to like trip. <laughs> So like I loved all that. I think I that's did great. too. And if you could put your character and your co pilot, Captain Marvel, in any other era, which era would you choose? Ooh. Um 
<laughs> you know, it would be interesting if they were in the Elizabethan area. Ooh. Because women were so different, yeah. Because they're just out here being like unapologetic and I would be interested to see. Actually, you know what? I would couple them with the suffragettes. <gasps> the suffragettes, Captain Marvel and Maria, Boom. all using their voices power. There you go. Perfect. I'll love to see that. You should actually write the people you need to write to get that movie made. Okay. Okay. But I'm done. Give, give me a byline in there. Sure. <laughs> so nice sure. To you. Nice Thank to meet you, you as well. Take care. Has it been a whirlwind? A little bit. Um, little a little bit. little bit. But it's good. It's good. It's fun. You're to, excited, to... but are you kind of tired of hearing the same questions over and over and over? Yes. And... The, the pressure's on you now. <laughs> I know. I shouldn't. I'm like, I just set myself up for that. <laughs> <laughs> So now I feel the pressure because I did just set that up for myself. <laughs> <laughs> so this movie is so kick-ass and it is so overdue. You guys are making history. So how did this gigantic history-making movie come your way? Well, we heard that Marvel was making the Captain Marvel movie. Uh, we heard that they cast Brie Larson, and we were like, um, excuse me, over here, please. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then you know, we, we started meeting with them, and it was, you know, a few meetings that took place over several months. Um, and, and we feel, like, really lucky to have just felt aligned with them on what this character should be and what this story should be, and it's been an amazing collaboration. And Brie Larson, she seems tailor-made for the role of Captain Marvel, just tailor-made. So did you guys always have her in mind from the get-go? Well, because we were hired after she was hired. She was part mm. of the reason that we were so excited. So to yes. It. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yes, because you both have indie backgrounds, you and Bree, so that's cool to have that collaboration as well. Now the music choices in this movie are phenomenal. You have Nirvana, Hole, No Doubt. Did you guys have any influence into the musical game in this movie? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, it was all a big collaboration, you know? Sometimes we would suggest songs, and uh, most of those songs are in the movie, but other people, I mean, we had an amazing music supervisor, Dave Jordan. That, who threw a bunch of songs into this movie where we were, that we hadn't even thought of, and we were like, oh man, that's good, that works perfect there. So yeah, it was really a fun collaboration. Favorite 90s song used? Garbage. Good. I, I guess I gotta say Salt and Peppa, because I already said that one. <laughs> yeah. but there are so many, there's so many that I love in this movie, there's including including the Nirvana. Nirvana and Hole were my two favorites, so good job on that. And <laughs> what is one thing from the 90s that you miss and wish you could bring back? VHS tapes. Oh, wait, what are those? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. V and for you? Did I miss? Oh man, I can't, cannot say dial up internet. But I, in so, I have to say pay phones just because not always being plugged in all the time with your cell phone, not always having to be reachable at any moment, it was such a blessing of that time period, you know, having to actually go to a payphone and put in a quarter to make a call. It's kind of nice. They should bring those back. <laughs> and as far as, I mean, there are so many monumental scenes. I know this is going to be a hard question to answer, but what was your favorite scene to direct or just favorite scene, period? Yeah, it's actually pretty easy. There's a scene in Louisiana where Carol basically learns about her history and uh, she's standing out in a field and, and basically with Ben Mendelsohn and Lashana Lynch and Sam Jackson, we shot this scene at dusk so the light was going down and we only had a few takes at it and it was just perfect old school filmmaking where everybody was on their game and uh, we shot it with three cameras and uh, it's in the movie and it's my favorite. I'm not just saying this, but when I saw the film, that stood out to me because it almost had that indie, very heart-to-heart, -heart, just very realistic feel to it, and that's actually what popped into my head as well. So we're all on the same page. Nice. You guys need help for your next project. <laughs> Let me know. I enjoyed Thanks the so movie. Thanks so much. It was really nice to meet Thank you. you. Thank Pleasure you. Pleasure meeting you guys. You too. Thank you.